is me, the catcher, and welcome back to Pokemon Silver in the last episode. We got here to Cerulean, and today we're going to take on the Cerulean Gym. If you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like. And let's jump right into it, shall we? Oh man, I'm so excited because you're doing a bonus. I'm doing like a bonus three episodes today. And I'm freaking excited about it! Cause I'm, I, I'm excited man, it's, it's been great. I love doing this show. I know I say it a lot, but I love it. Love doing it. It's a blast. No lie either. Going, Cedra. Always love Cedra because it's such like a cool, underrated Pokemon. Like obviously Kingdra's a lot better, but Cedra's pretty good too. I mean, slap an Eviolite on that Johnny, and it could probably do some. It could probably do some work. Could be wrong on that, but. Pretty sure that's the case. Like I love like Seizure and King. I don't know why I just do. You know another Pokemon I love? Freaking Basculin. Nobody gives Basculin enough love. Until it got its new evolution! <laughs> I love it. I love that Vasculin finally got the love it deserves. Which is sick, by the way. Such an underrated Pokemon, it's awesome. Same with like Kabutops and Homestar. Like, both are pretty awesome. But they're like super underrated. They're both pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Not as good as they used to be. But they're pretty freaking good. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay. Yeah, man. There are a lot of underrated water types. Or not under yeah, I guess underrated. You know, like um like Crawdon. I love Crawdon. Freaking awesome! You know? Gotta love it! Hey, it's up to you on Gruel level, look at that! Swimmer Diana was defeated. I give up, you're the winner. Heck yeah, I am. You better believe it. Well, I'll keep talking. Alright, let's face Misty! I was expecting you to test. You may have a lot of Johto Gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. Oh, are they? Well, you are a lot tougher in this game than you are in Red, Blue, Yellow, so I'll give you that. Unprepared trainers. This is probably going to be the toughest, um, the toughest battle in, in, in Kanto, other than the final gym leader. Because I know the first time I did this gym, I struggled greatly. In fact. But, uh... Oh, that's not good. We 
gotta finish this thing off quick. Oh jeez, that, that thing didn't kill it? Oh my gosh, this gym battle might actually be harder than I thought. Jeez! Yikers! Oh, sorry. Let's send up Starmie. This thing might actually outspeed me. Nope, never mind. I can't believe Misty's Quagsire got a hit on me. Although, it doesn't surprise me. I actually lost this gym battle the first time I did it, so... So, totally unprepared. Because I had no Alakazam, no Electric type, and no Grass type. Well, that's not true. I did have Executor, but severely underleveled. Jeez, that did a lot. Got the Cascade Badge. Six badges down, only two more to go. Thank you, I mean, I'm going to travel one day so I can battle some skilled trainers. Go for it. Wow, that was the first gym battle that actually gave me trouble. Like a lot of trouble, actually. That's going to be what Koga is in red. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. Pokemon are fully healed. Well, I guess next time on Game Catchers, we're going to head towards Mount Moon. Computer City. So we're going to go through Mount Moon. If you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys then. Bye!